Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another fun creative photography video for you. And it may be something you've never tried before. However, I'm gonna show you how to do it so you can get really cool images like this. Now, to give you some context before we jump into it, and the reason why I wanna do this now is simply because it was a little difficult getting uh, some BTS behind the scenes clips for you guys just because given the circumstances, a lot of uh, where you're shooting needs to be very, very dark. And the reason is because with the uh, main camera that I was taking the photos on, basically I needed to have the shutter open for a long period of time. And what that does is if there's a lot of ambient light around, the image is gonna become overexposed. So to counter that, I needed to have a really dark room and shoot that photo in it. Because we have the shutter open, we are able to basically get these light trails and do what's called light painting. And this is essentially kind of what it sounds like. You are just painting certain areas of the photograph that you choose with the light source that you're using. Now, as far as your light source goes, I used a little LED light just like this, and one of the modes actually allows me to cycle through the RGB. So that's why you are seeing there's a lot of different color going through. I decided to go this route because I thought it would give a really interesting look, and I'm actually really happy with how it came out. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video, and I'll kind of give you a voiceover and my thought process as we go through that. So as you can see, it is really, really dark, and this allows me to capture these light trails just like this. Now you can see I am moving the light constantly just to get that really nice streak. I'm also actually moving my feet around quite a bit, because if I did just plant them, they would come out in the photo. So it's something to keep in mind. I'm also, one thing I want to mention is I did manually focus just to make sure that every photo was going to be in focus because since it's so dark if you do decide to try an autofocus your camera is going to have an impossible time trying to nail that focus so it's best if you just basically nail that focus put it on manual and leave it as is and have your object just not move at all as you shoot the photos and that is gonna wrap up this creative photography video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had some fun. It's been a while since I've done some light painting and this can honestly be applied to literally anything. And it's actually a lot of fun, especially to go out at night and take some really cool shots like that. That's what I would have done. However, unfortunately it is like freezing here and actually super rainy. So I wasn't able to go out tonight but you can definitely use the outdoors to your advantage if you do get a chance. Simply look up light painting and you'll see just some really awesome images that people are able to create using this technique. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing so guys. We have new content coming out for you every single week. And with that said, I will see you all in the next one.